This is Tiger TV with sports, news, and activities that matter to students. Good morning, Tiger Nation. I'm Miles Miles. Topping the news, social media is taking over how we do things today. It also distracts kids in class. It's hard for them to get things done because they're always on their phones. A text from a friend or a message that you just reached 500 followers on Instagram. Students constantly get the urge to take time from their lessons to check social media on their smartphones. Over the years, the use of cell phones has been getting bigger and bigger and isn't going to stop anytime soon. I think having cell phones in school is okay, but not in class. Another article from FacultyFocus.com says that 60% of students that see classmates using cell phones often get distracted themselves and makes it hard for others to learn. For instance, having an emergency call, all you have to do is just go outside, well, ask teach first and go outside. But if you're just answering calls in the class, that's really disrespectful to people. And even if you don't like teachers, it's still known that you would still get mad if somebody did that to you. We could use programs like Google Classroom or Quizlet to work in and out of school. So if we try this, then maybe we can reduce the need to ban cell phones. Now to respect. It's something that is lacking today. When students are on their phones in class, it can be disrespectful to the teacher and to other students in the classroom. Parmila Garung has a story on the importance of respect. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Camilla. I didn't want to do this assignment because it is so hard. Sorry, I didn't want to. You didn't want to? Yeah. You didn't want to do this This assignment. seems so a uh, student disrespecting the teacher, but students should so respect because teachers are there to support them and to help make their future brighter. When I hear something that sounds to me like it might be disrespectful. I find that most of the time the cause is a miscommunication or the student feels uncomfortable. Students should be respectful to their teacher, senior and people in general. It is really about having manner. If they don't show respect, then it will be hard to have good future because respect helps you to be the successful teachers to help the students make good decisions. The vast majority of students are respectful. Uh, people like to feel successful and I think the majority of students know that teachers are there to help them reach their goals. So if someone uh, is saying something that appears disrespectful, the first step would be to have a good communication um, and make sure that the student has a good solid understanding of what the situation is. Respect is important for human beings. Respect makes people build trust. Students should be polite to teachers because they support to make succeed. Thank you for that important lesson about respect. Spring is just around the corner. Here's Aaron Briscoe with the weather. Hello Tiger Nation! The weather forecast isn't that bad, but expect lots and lots of rain. However, we aren't that far off from last year's record. Today's forecast is currently 37 degrees with a high of 45 degrees and a low of 27 degrees. It is a very sunny out. There's no chance of rain today or this weekend, so go enjoy the dry weather before Cleveland changes its mind. You know how that goes. I'm Erin Briscoe with the Daily Forecast, and I'll have the seven-day forecast for you later on in the newscast. Thank you for that weather update. We'll have more stories after the break. Finally, the event you've been waiting for for like 12 years, right? Well, prom is finally around the corner. But wait, this night should be fun if you take some safe procedures. Travel safely. This includes fastening your seatbelt, not driving and drinking, and being cautious on who you get into the car with. And there you have it, a responsible prom night. In Flint, Michigan, there is a water issue occurring. Only contaminated water is available to the residents of Flint. It's become a very controversial topic nationwide, and Cleveland Heights High School is helping out by encouraging students to donate water for the Flint residents. Well, I feel that like everybody should just come together and donate water as a community. Everybody all around the world or in the United States should just come together and donate water to Flint. 
Though water contains lead, it is considered toxic. This issue has been a concern for nearly two years. What can we do as Cleveland Heights students to help out Flint, Michigan? Uh, oh, we, well, we can probably come together as a school and get them some money for some water, some, some fresh water. Residents have suffered a series of health issues since the problem came to light. The government officials have taken no action and residents are still paying for toxic water in their homes. A Heights student has taken matter to his own hands and donated water. Thanks for watching Tiger TV with Aaron Briscoe. Thanks, Aaron. Being a gentleman is simple and easy, but it seems that very few today seem to take on that lifestyle. Here's Ahmad Manigal with the story. A true gentleman is respectful to everyone around, from women he likes to date to elderly people who need help with their groceries. He takes impeccable care of his appearance, is polite, and is kind to women, regardless of whether he thinks he has a chance with them. To be a true gentleman, you need to be self-aware, mature, and courteous. Although it seems that this way of life is dead, you can make a difference by making the effort to bring more respect and care into the world. Hygiene is key. Bathe regularly. Use nice smelling body wash and deodorants, but do not overdo it on the cologne. A wise monk once said, a little bit of cologne can go a long way. Women don't like a smelly man. Dressing well is also important. Dress like you care. Don't wear clothes that are too tight, but not too loose, but that fit just right. A wise monk also once said, dress to impress, but don't be too flashy. And keep your pants pulled up. Check it out, check it out, check it out. I got four words for you. Hi, and last but not least, stand up for your lady when other men are giving unwanted attention to her. When the guy is doing something me, you both don't like, simply grab Negro her by the waist you? and walk off. He'll get the message. Yes, Show to her that you care by Blow not letting me. other men flirt with him. Now you look here, buddy. You have no business bothering this sweet young lady. Now you apologize and don't make me take off my belt. Okay, not, <laughs> not the belt, man. I'd be cool. I, I, all right, look, I'm sorry, okay? Now you get out of her face now! <laughs> we'll have more stories after the break. Dancing can be really enjoyable for people. Dancing can help you relieve tensions and stress and help you to lose weight. Dancing can help all is stay fit. Dancing can also lead Hey, um, would you like to go to movies with me? A date? Yeah. Um, I don't like you in that way, and I doubt any girl would. Does this always happen to you? Tired of being turned down by a woman? Well, there's no need to fear. Y'all new woman spray 3000 is here. Try this. I feel different already. Hey, did you want to go on that movie date, by the way? Uh, sure. For only an arm and a leg, you can be attracting women in no time. Now, everyone likes a good movie, right? But what about the movies that we don't like? Deshaun Jackson has more on those movies. It's movies like this that make people want their money back. I believe it is felt projects like this movie that people can stop using money on and put into other opportunities. Miles, what movies have disappointed you in this past 10 years? The movies that disappoint me had to be Dragon Ball Evolution. After 42 volumes of comics, 18 movies, and 15 seasons of television, one live action adaptation will ignore everything people loved about the Dragon Ball franchise. Miles, why do you hate that movie the most? Well, it's because it never actually followed the same storyline as the anime. The movies I hate the most, well, out of every single movie, Avatar, Airbender, and Dragon Ball, um, evolution. I hate X-Men Origins Wolverine. It's the film that destroyed your favorite X-Men Wolverine. Isaiah, why do you hate X-Men Origins Wolverine? 
the reason I hate X Men Origins Wolverine is the action scenes were cool, but Deadpool was horrible. Instead of wasting money on movies like Star Wars 7, Dragon Ball Evolution, The Last Airbender, or even X Men Origins Wolverine, we should be focusing on putting money into projects that need them, like the project in Cambodia to get them clean water. That will help out 300,000 of people in that area get very untainted water into the system. From movies to Japanese excitement in the form of anime, shonen anime, it's a type of animation that has plenty of excitement that every teenage boy might enjoy. Isaiah Kempson has the story. There are many types of Japanese animation like Kodomo, Shoujo, Sini, Jasi, Eki, but the best type of all is shonen anime. Shonen is usually noticed by its high amount of fighting and its action-packed characters. It often has themes of friendship, fighting teams, and similar groups are shown. Attractive female characters are also common, but not always present. Anime fans agree that Shonen is the best. Shonen taught me three things. How to never give up, never surrender, and most importantly, Shonen taught me to believe it. Shonen includes sports, mystery, adventure, fighting, sci-fi, and more. The longest running Shonen animes are Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, and Dragon Ball Z. They are named as the Four Kings of Shonen. Even so, I believe every anime is special and great, but Shonen is more memorable and completely awesome. Watch Shonen. You will go into a world that you will not want to leave. We'll have more stories after the break. Dude, give me your money if I have to whack you. I'm on life, bro. Give me your money. Okay. What do you think you're doing to my friend? Give him back his stuff, man. I don't need it anyway. If you see something, then say something. It's just that simple. Wolves hunt to survive and provide for their pack. Like any other animal, gray wolves just want to live in their forest to run free. Now, they are being killed by humans. In 48 states, gray wolves are listed as threatened in Montana, Iowa, Eastern Oregon, and Washington, where they have no Endangered Species Act. To help gray wolves now, go to www.defendersofwildlife.com. Com. We're back with the weather. Next week's weather isn't going to be that sunny, so plan now for your inside movie night. Monday is supposed to be partly cloudy with a temperature of 39 degrees. Tuesday will be 48 degrees, but expect some afternoon showers. Wednesday will be 56 degrees with some afternoon rain. Thursday will be 59 degrees with expected showers, and Friday will be 51 degrees with some showers. Saturday will be 49 and mostly sunny, and Sunday will be 57 degrees and mostly sunny. The weekend should be nice, so be optimistic. And that's all. I'm Aaron Briscoe with Tiger TV Weather. You used to call me on my. You used to, you used to. Yeah. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my. You can be happy wearing any shoe you want. Now let's talk hoops. Terry Smelton has a story about the Kyrie Irving Stephen Curry matchup. Who's got the best handle in the league? 
I think it's between Steph Curry and Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving of the Cleveland Cavaliers and Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors face off against each other in an important game of the season. Who is a better point guard? Going up NBA point guards, who is a better point guard between Kyrie Irving and Stephen Curry? They're two different type of guards, so the fact that Steph Curry won a championship in his first year in the playoffs, I would have to go with Stephen Curry. Kyrie has been in the NBA for five years, and Stephen Curry has been in the NBA for seven years. Growing up experience, Stephen Curry has been in the NBA longer than Kyrie and has had more playoff appearances. And Colin Stephen also played basketball. He attended Davidson College for three years, and he averaged 25 points per game, four rebounds, and four assists. In 2009, Stephen was drafted by the Golden State Warriors' first-round six pick. Kyrie played basketball for Duke and was only there for a year and barely played the whole season because of injuries and still averaged 18 points, three rebounds, four assists. In 2011, Kyrie Irving was drafted by the Cleveland Cavaliers, first round, first pick, and he was also named Rookie of the Year. Stephen Curry is the best three-point shooter in the NBA, and Kyrie Irving has the best ball handling skills in the NBA. I'm Terrius Melton with sports. Thanks, Terrius. I'm Miles Mills. Thanks for watching Tiger TV. Have a great day.